Today I have the Samsung Galaxy A51 with a clearly alien inspired holographic back panel. This is obviously referencing Area 51. Aliens love holograms. It's a pretty well known fact. This one was repaired before and has since stopped displaying, likely just a defective part. Let's get this to the heating mat to soften the adhesive on the back panel. Remember this panel is plastic, so don't roast this potato for too long. A thin pry tool or razor blade should easily slip through the back panel and separate the adhesive that holds it together. Inside you'll find a very similar design to last generation's A50, but this one has a nice big wavy A51 branded ribbon running over the battery. At the top of the midframe are six Phillips screws holding everything together. Loctite was generously applied and these can take some persuasion to remove. At the bottom are six of the same screws from the top. No big screw map for this repair. Now would be as good a time as any to remember to take out the SIM tray. A stiff pry tool can be inserted in the seam between the midframe and the screen bezel. Several plastic clips around the frame need to be popped out to remove it. Here comes the most important step, disconnecting that battery. With the main ribbon disconnected, there's a single black board screw that holds the main logic board to the frame. This one is shorter than the others. While this is unlikely to be the source of our issue, it looks like this stamp of an adorable teddy bear was left unfinished. I'll take care of that with my incredible artistic talent. Down to the bottom, the charging daughter board doesn't have any screws holding it down, but it does have the display connector, sub ribbon, and optical fingerprint reader tethering it to the frame. Two shorter silver screws hold the fingerprint reader firmly in place. Some other small components like the vibration motor need to be pulled out and moved to the new housing. Speaking of new housing, here's the replacement part I'm using. It's a display that's been pre-installed into a frame. This is the fastest and most cost efficient way of repairing Android phones. I have a much better feeling about this one. The teddy bear stamp looks much better and only slightly better than my drawing. I'll place the old housing onto the heating mat to soften the adhesive that holds the battery in. While I wait for that to heat up, I'll get all the parts I removed installed into their new home. A generous helping of heat and isopropyl alcohol will loosen the tough tape holding the battery to the frame. Finally, I can place that battery into the new housing, then reinstall and reconnect everything else. Before installing the back panel, it's a great time to test that the phone is working properly. There's nothing more frustrating than having to open and reseal a device for an untested issue. This one's working great. I'll throw some fresh adhesive on the back panel and press it firmly down to the frame. Thanks for watching. Hope this video helped you out. If it did, a sub to the channel would be much appreciated if you want to see more repairs. I'll see you next time.